Hello, I'm Nating Li from Yukon Financial. Uh, today, I'm going to introduce you know what we think about a robot advisor. Uh, robot advisor is not a new idea. You know, since 2008, you know, when most the uh, large financial institutions are busy dealing with the financial crisis, actually, lots of our uh, technology companies are thinking about new ways of providing financial services. So, you know, Betterment Wealth Fund all started right after the financial crisis and um, in the past 10 years you know, the market dynamic has changed very interestingly like they start with these financial technology companies and then later on when the financial institutions recover from the crisis they think oh actually that's a good idea to do business and uh, lots of them actually you know launch their own robot advisors in Asia, you know, that's something new, but I think it was a uh, great potential as well. The uh, robot advisor, we define the fourth wave using ETFs are robot advisor, you know, 1.0. Those are very standard product. It's in line with the technology product when they push to market. They don't talk about customization. It's a standard, low cost, convenient. But the financial institutions get involved, things get much more complicated because technology companies, if they just use asset allocation, use underlying as an ETF, the barrier for entry is actually quite low. So financial institutions, when they have large uh, client space, they can easily copy that model. So we see, you know, Betterments and the Wealth Farm, uh, their growth slows down versus Vanguard. Charles Raw, they quickly capture the market size. So when we think about you know, what's the future for robot advisor, uh, my thought is robot advisor has to be customized to be robot. Robot, is, if it's just a very standard non-customized product, it's just different kind of asset allocation products. Not much different with a balanced farm. You know, mutual farm already launched many years ago. So if you want to be robot advisors in the future, you need to think about how you enable financial institutions to enhance their services. That means how you help them to increase their coverage, not just the high net worth individuals can enjoy those services, but normal people. And also consistency, how you control quality, and also how you help financial institutions to lower the cost. So I think you know, for robot advisors, you, you need to be customized, you need to be uh, an enabler rather than just a disruptor of the market. So that's you know, something I'm going to talk about today. Thank you.